In this video we're going to cover configuring DHCP and how to configure it so uh, any devices you have connected to your local router or whatnot uh, receive their IP addresses dynamically. That's what the D stands for in DHCP, Dynamic Host Control Protocol. The D stands for dynamic, which means it's always changing. Static means it stays the same. Dynamic means it can change. It can change. Uh, so what that means is if you have you know, this one we're going to set up three computers connected to a, uh, a Linksys router. So if computer one was connected to the router and it receives its IP address automatically, dynamically, uh, the next person to connect gets the next available one. So then say the first person logs off and then the third person logs on, it may give them the IP address that the first person had because it's now available. So we're going to go over uh, connecting uh, it's a pretty simple like a this is like a home user network uh, so let's throw out uh, three three PCs here and we want a wireless Linksys so we're gonna connect all these directly with a copper straight through to do that just pick your cabling uh, just always pick the first available port uh, here, just click fast. You know, fast Ethernet is what you're going to use, obviously. Uh, the next available port. Same thing for the third one. So now the three are connected. Ah, we need to configure the router so it it uh you know it does what we want it to do. So just click it, go to configure. Uh, we're going to rename it. Uh, you'll notice like. Most people have wireless routers. Their their network is named. Uh, the people around me, their routers are all locked down, but I can still pick up their signal and I can see their names. They got some funny names. My next door neighbor is a kid. His router is called a, uh, or his network is called a uh, Infinite Metal. So this one we're just gonna call this one uh, DCP enabled router. That way we know what it is just for our. Uh, purposes of our little tutorial here. Uh, let's go to our GUI tab, GUI, Graphic User Interface. Uh, if we scroll down here we can see uh, the router information. This is the IP address of our router, the subnet mask, and you'll notice that DHCP is enabled. So it's already set up to dish out uh, IP addresses dynamically. Uh, but we're going to change the... I want you to see here too the start address right here uh, we've got the first three parts of the same, but then for all the local people it's starting at 100 and it's going to have a maximum of 50 users. That puts the range at 100 to 149. If that doesn't seem like 50, it's, you need to count 100. If this was 101, then this would say 150 and there would be your 50. So uh, let's change the IP address of our router to five here. We're going to put five here. And you'll notice here it's zero. So we're going to come down, save our changes, and you'll see here we put our five in and now this has changed. It's updated. Our start IP address, that five is in there. Uh, and now we're going to change, let's change the uh, start address from 100 to 25 and the number of users to 75. And then when we save our changes, uh, that should update also. So scroll down, go to Save Changes. So you'll notice our new start IP address starts at 25 instead of 100. We've got 75 available users instead of 50. So here our range has changed just like we wanted it to from 25 to 99. Which is perfect. So now our router is configured, we need to go check on our PCs. So click the first PC, which is actually PC0. Your window will pop up. We go to configure tab at the top and then the little sub menu, uh, fast ethernet. You'll see right here that the static radio box is checked, but we want to receive our IP addresses dynamically. We want the router to just give them to us and it can be different every time we don't care. So we just check that box 
and there it's obtained the first available address which was 25 which was our starting 25 so let's close that now let's go to PC1 and this one we haven't configured to receive its IP address dynamically so let's see what happens if we go to the command prompt type in IP config and hit enter and you'll notice everything zeros because it's never obtained an IP address from the router so even though the router is set up the computer needs to know too hey you know when I talk to the router I want the router to just give me the to give me an available IP address I don't have static the router set up for dynamic I need to be set up for, for dynamic also so let's configure our last two uh, check the DHCP box you'll see here uh, the first one it gave for our first one our first PC 0 was 25 now this one's been given 26 basically the next available one let's do the third one here configure a fast Ethernet menu probably gonna be 27 and there it is 27 which is perfect uh, so now let's verify connectivity from that same computer we had before that gave us all zeros there you can see right there we'll type in the exact same command IP config and now you'll see this is its IP address its subnet mask and the default gateway and we can verify our connectivity throughout the network by pinging the router so the router IP address is 192.168.5.1 5 I believe yep there we go so we've pinged the router and now we can ping let's ping one of the other devices on the network we'll ping the first PC which was PC 0 but we just need the IP address and it was 192.168.5.26 I think and there you go you can see we've got a uh, connectivity and you can go from each PC you know you can go and check this one if you want you can ping the router and you'll see it's connected but you can also see uh, usually all these green dots tell you that everything's at least connected but if you want to check connectivity you can go in and do a ping uh, not much need for a trace route on this since there's only one router so this has been a short video on configuring DHCP and configuring your router to set up to just dole out IP addresses dynamically